In this scenario, Joe throws a line over two branches. He would rather it only over the lower branch as he's unsure of what his line is over on the top branch. On difficult shots, it wouldn't be worth the risk of losing the shot by re-throwing it, so this is a good time to double bag. After lowering the bag all the way to the ground, a second bag and throw line are attached. The increased weight of the bag ensures both lines can be lowered to the ground. Once the second line falls past the desired limb, the primary line lowers both to the ground. We are now left with two separate lines. In this situation, we could use both as we've created two isolated lines. For the example, we only want the lower line, so we pull out our blue line. In the next part, Joe will talk about how to tie off for SRT. We've established the high point, and now we're ready to tie off the SRT line. There are three common ways of tying off the SRT line. The first is to secure the line at the top with a running bow in or a similar knot. And back that up with a couple of half inches. Because I've isolated the branch, I can now pull the rope up to where it's secured around the top. The main advantages of this system are that there are only a single load on the high point. The obvious, the two obvious disadvantages of this setup are that the line can't be retrieved from the ground. So a climber will have to remove it from the tree or set it in a different manner before returning to the ground. And if, having installed that line, you decide that the anchor point is not secure, there's nothing you can do about changing it. The other problem is that in the event of a rescue, uh, everyone else on site has to have SRT equipment and be uh, familiar with its use in order to access the tree using this access line. In this situation, with both lines still on the ground, a climber who chooses to footlock or to install a, doubled rope, a running doubled rope system could still use the rope to do that. Anyway, that's, that's the first tie-off. The second possible tie-off is similar to the first in as much as it uses a running knot to secure the line at the top. In this instance, I'm using an alpine butterfly and passing the splice of the rope through that and make a running alpine butterfly. I can now run that up to where it's secured at the target crotch and I have it one side of this access line is now secured for SRT. If I decide that the, the target anchor point isn't strong enough I can pull on the other side of the line and recover that. I can also do that to recover the access line at the end and if I choose to ascend the tree later on using a running double rope system or similar. The final and most common setup is to secure one end of the access line around the base of the tree. The major advantage of this is that the union doesn't need, does not need to be isolated. Even if the rope is passed over several forks higher in the tree, so long as it is secure and safe, the running part of the line can be secured around the base of the tree and the standing part can be used for climbing. There are lots of different possible tie-offs that you can use here. We'll show you a range of them. In this case, 
I'm securing the line with the clove hitch. Backed up by three half inches.